another quarterback that I hadn't spoken about yet on this show. And uh, you, you know, you covered uh, back a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, when he first got his Miami offer. And according to Gabby Yerudia from Inside the U, he's locking in a visit for April 6th because he's going to be on spring break at his high school. He's out of Georgia, uh, Gray, Georgia, Jones County, Judd Anderson, who, man, I'm the, the size is crazy here, John. He's six foot six. Six foot six, 210 pounds. I don't know a lot about this quarterback. What can you tell me about Judd Anderson, who's visiting early next month? Yeah, big physical quarterback. Uh, got a huge arm on him, as you would imagine, at six foot six, looking like, you know, Ryan Mallett out there. But he's got some athleticism to him. He's not just a, a big, you know, Chad Henney pocket passer type. He can move a little bit. Great basketball player, double double guy uh, on the hardwood. And I think the day Shannon Dawson offered him, when I spoke to him, he had a Final Four game that night for his high school basketball team. So, you know, he's not just a double-double guy playing against short guys. You know, they're winning and, and going deep in the playoffs there in the state of Georgia. I do I do think they lost in the Final Four, but Anderson was so focused on hoops that he was so surprised to grab a football offer. So that's why mm -hmm. he hasn't been out in the camps and all that stuff. But now that hoops is over, he's going to shift over to recruiting, and Miami's one of the – offers that he was really excited uh, to grab. You know, he obviously uh, is building a relationship with Shannon Dawson, who he said had been talking to him for a few weeks before uh, the offer came in. Um, and he wants to learn more of, of the program and Mario Cristobal. So this is, I think, kind of an AC, ACC, SEC level guy. He's got like Ole Miss, a couple other schools, Georgia Tech uh, involved in his recruitment. Uh, so that will be interesting from an evaluation perspective. Uh, we've seen him in person a few times. Again, a uh, big physical quarterback. He's productive, can certainly push the ball down the field. And he's got this intriguing athleticism. It's not, you know, hey, let, let's call QB power here and, and let him go. But he's got enough wiggle to, to, to make a guy miss in the pocket or, or in the open field. So it becomes intriguing, especially relative to, again, this style of offense. You know, what we've seen typically smaller quarterbacks thrive in the air raid. So when you go after a six, 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 seven guy, it certainly, uh, you know, appears interesting from, from an optical perspective. But Anderson's a guy who's had offers for a long time. He's got a ton of football experience, even though he's always split time between football and basketball. That's one that, again, you, you like the athletic profile and you bank on the fact that he's a multi-sport guy and say, hey, when he does focus on one sport full time, he's going to have an opportunity to, to make some really big strides mentally or schematically. So I think he's going to be an intriguing sort of later rather than sooner quarterback option for a lot of teams. So it was good for Miami to get in when they did. And, and that's what Anderson said. He said Dawson thinks he's going to blow up. So he was like, I want Miami to get this offer to you before you blow up. So. Right. Maybe that's just recruiting or Dawson sees something that a bunch of other schools will soon see with Anderson. But like you said, he's absolutely worth bringing up.